Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a script in C Sharp which will allow you to change from first person to third person view and back again. So, most games these days either stick with either first or third person view. Uh, but you have games, for example, the Fallout series, the Elder Scrolls, which have the ability to switch back and forth between first person and third person view. So I'm going to do this with the default third person controller, which is called Unity Chan. You can get this on the uh, Asset Store if you want. But if you've got your own third person controller, that's fine. One thing I will recommend firstly, though, if you're going to do this method, don't use the built-in first person controller, because if you're going to switch to a third person, even in first person, there still needs to be a model there to actually represent the character. So I have the main camera attached to Unity Champ, and if we press play, we're just uh, in third person, and we're going to start with a third person view. So we're going to do it by going to Edit, Project Settings, and Input. And whatever we have as size here, add 1 to it. So I've got 21, so I'll hit 22. And all that does is duplicate whatever the last option is. In this case, I've got a T key option. So I'm going to change the name of this to camera, and I'm going to make the positive button equal to the button that I want to be pressed to change. So if you want a mouse click, or if you want the P button, if you want the Y button, or anything like that, you would just put this in here. So you can also change the type there if you want it for the mouse button, for example. So I'm just going to use the C button on the keyboard for now. So once that's done, we can actually start with our script. So right click, create, C sharp script, and let's just call it camera change. And we're going to open it up in MonoDevelop or Visual Studio, whichever you have, because the script is the exact same. There's going to be three variables. There's going to be the first person camera, third person camera, and then the camera mode. So we can set uh, camera mode 1, camera mode 2, camera mode 3 if possible. I'm just going to stick with two camera modes, but you can have more. For example, if you have a zoomed out camera, but you can expand on this script if you need to. So I'm going to get rid of void start and the little note there. Don't need that. Let's start with public game object and let's have third cam. So that's the third person camera. Next one, public game object and this is first cam. Next is going to be public int for integer and um, we'll have call this cam mode semicolon. So the cam mode is represented by whichever camera mode we have so we'll call uh, the third person camera as zero, first person camera as one. If you maybe have a far out camera that would be camera mode two. As I say you can expand if you need to. <clears throat> So in void update, we're going to do if, and in brackets, input dot get button, it's a capital B there, sorry, button down, and in brackets and quotes, I'm going to put the word camera, because that's what I set the button name as a couple of minutes ago. Close bracket, close bracket again, and open curly bracket. So if pressing uh, the camera button, we then need to check if camera mode is equal to one. So if cam mode equals that's a double equals one open curly bracket what we need to do is set cam mode back to zero so cam mode equals zero so we're kind of working backwards a little bit here because we're creating the camera mode of first person first even though we're dealing with third person first so if you will have a th maybe like I say a far out zoomed camera, you'd start with cam mode two, and that would equal it back to zero because you're cycling through the modes. So next, what we need to do is do an else statement in this case, and else we're going to do cam mode plus equals one semicolon, and then close curly bracket, and after that we need to start a coroutine. Now a coroutine is something we can do for, for example, an I enumerator. It gives us the opportunity to wait for a frame just for things to catch up as well. It kind of helps just a little bit, especially on resources. So start coroutine, and in brackets, we're going to call it cam change. Open close bracket, close bracket, semicolon, and close curly brackets, close the if statement. 
and this close curly bracket will close up void update. So now what we need to do is create cam change. So I enumerator and we called it cam change open close bracket open curly bracket and we'll do yield return new wait for seconds and in brackets 0.01 f semicolon so this just kind of waits for even half frame really it just allows the script to catch up on itself just in case it prevents any problems later on in development so what we need to do is if cam mode is equal to zero we need to set the third person camera active and the first person camera as inactive so if cam mode equals zero open curly bracket we do third cam dot set active true and first cam dot set active as false semicolon and we can close that if statement and then we do the same again if it's equal to one so if cam mode equals one then we need to set the first camera as active so dot set active true semicolon and third cam dot set active false and then close curly bracket and then the close curly bracket again to close up i enumerator and i'm just going to change that to cam change so that should highlight black not blue just have to make sure that we don't use the same name for our i enumerator as we have done for the script so save our script there <clears throat> next thing to do if we head back to unity i'm going to take this main camera which is our third person camera i'm going to right click rename and just call it third cam and then we're going to hold control press d to duplicate and then we're going to drag and drop onto character one reference so we're going to place this camera at the front of our character model so if we drag and drop onto cam uh, character one reference right click rename and we'll call it first cam and then we just need to place it where we would expect to have the first person view so we'd have it pretty much in front of her face so I think about there would appear to be just fine and next thing we need to do is just disable the first cam because we're going to start in third person view and now we need a new game object so create empty right click rename and we'll call this cam monitor and then just drag and drop this camera change script onto it and we just need to set the first person cam and third person cam so third cam goes there first cam goes there and let's press play so we have our third person view and now let's press c and we can go into first person view c again takes us back to third person and you can keep switching between the two like so now you could also add a couple of extras to this you could add some animation to it so the camera kind of zooms in and zooms out of where its focus should be but that's going a little bit more advanced but it's not too difficult to do it just requires adding an animation component to each camera third cam and first cam and just switching between the two so guys that is how you can create a real simple script to switch between third person and first person unity guys thank you very much for watching